Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident, Resident Evil, Evil Revelations. Revelations. We don't need the recap. The Queen is dead. Well, I know Jill's going to be dead quite a lot in this episode. Pretty confident in saying that. The final queen. Yes, Queen Dido. Yes. Resting on the ocean floor since that day. Which means we'll find her. A Terra Grigia. Exactly. We have a responsibility to see this mission through. O'Brien out. taking this show over. The BSAA is hereby under the direct supervision of the FBC. Clive R. O'Brien, you are under arrest for collaborating with the terrorist organization Veltro. Chris, Jill, you're our only hope. Uh, sir, he's mad. He's whispering to himself. You'd have thought they have internalized that voice, there but I guess not. The remains of Terra Grigia. And the Queen Dido. Well, I hope we have some point. exact coordinates. So otherwise things are gonna get a little bit uh dicey. I do love this bit. This bit's really cool. Really atmospheric. See the size of those flippers. Dude. Right. And yep, we've got to waggle the mouse. Because gameplay, right? I'm not sure if you waggle the mouse quicker, if it actually moves faster. I don't know. Right, well, let's start refilling our ammo, because you better believe we're going to need lots of ammo. Unfortunately, fighting the final boss when they've put his stats up to 9,000, you need a lot of ammo. It's actually a... I don't know what she's cutting there, either. She's just cutting randomly welding the middle of the door okay i guess quiet. Our time itself has stopped. i guess i'm putting more thought into that than the developers did and for god's sake chris put some damn pants on for god's sakes Ooh. The mobs we found on the beach they came from here that explains why morgan cordoned off the area I guess it does. Right. Yeah, this is a really cool part of the game. Oh, look at that. Reminds me of a game I used to play on the PlayStation 1, actually. I can't remember what it was called. Um, I know you had a diving company or something and you used to go diving treasures of the deep i think it was called had um, some amazing music i only had the demo of it i think and you could buy and sell upgrades for your equipment and each mission was a different dive Oof. such a good game rifle ammo lovely 
Oh, well, that guy's uh, definitely seen better days. You know, you would have thought he would have been more rotten than he actually is if this was a year ago. At least he died a human, more or less. Yeah, well, more or less, I guess. Hey, it's so Blobby. Nope, we can't fight them underwater, but... <laughs> Chris is literally just breathing through his pipe as well. you got to respect that kind of dedication. Yeah, those blobs are a one-hit kill as well, if we get too close to them. But luckily, we have our grenades. I'm pretty sure our grenades... Um, I don't think the grenades kill them, like they do with the other creatures, but they do knock them out for a considerable amount of time. Alright. More ammo. We're getting a lot of handgun ammo here, which is probably the worst type of ammo to get. The door is locked. Well, that's unfortunate. Yes, the power on this completely submerged and rusted and rotted out ship. Uh, bearing in mind that this ship has been under for a year, it looks like it's been under for about 50 years. This has really decayed quite quickly. Shockingly fast. Right, okay. Now, we want to be careful here, because there are indeed enemy blobs, but we're not going to worry about him too much, because we can always pop one of them. Although, as you can see, it's not exactly a guarantee. Maybe we shouldn't have thrown it right into his face. Alright, let's try that one again, shall we? With a little bit less failure this time. Now, what is that that we can search here? There is something. Ah, yeah. I think that's the switch over there. Well, I hope so, Jill. That would be awfully convenient. Alright, well, let's pop one of them. There was a huge radius on those grenades as well. Like, it's, it is massive. So you don't have to worry too much. But yeah, as you can see, it doesn't knock them out for long. Just enough to disrupt them to get by. Right, okay. But we have so many of these grenades, it's kind of crazy. Some magnum ammo. We do like our magnum ammo in these parts. We're going to be leaning quite heavily on the old magnum ammo, I'd wager. For the final battle. I don't know if there's actually anything else in here. Doesn't look like it. I've got a feeling there's some like illegal custom parts in that other room, but I I don't know actually. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Jill, the door's open. Okay, All right. my way back. Well, let's follow this guy around. I'm not sure if they fin uh, swim faster than you. Pretty sure it's roughly the same sort of speed. Okay. Alright, let's chuck a grenade. <coughs> Disrupt our friend. <coughs> and there we go. That was, close. that was close. But there was that one uh, string of reality where we did get murdered. Okay, let's move in. But we don't... Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't just appear like that. More rifle ammo, which is good. We need as much rifle ammo as we can get our grubby little hands on. 
Now, I'm not really sure what the best weapons to go into the final boss with are. Probably the weapons that do the most damage. The only thing is, he takes a disgusting amount of ammo. And there is a very real possibility that you can get to the last boss, uh, from what I understand, still air. and not have enough ammo to deal with him. Apparently that's happened to quite a lot of people if you read the uh, forums and things. FBC. There's something in his hand. <laughs> right, well, we are going to make sure we have everything we need. Hand grenade. Guessing a hand grenade is going to be somewhat useful. Voice recorder. This is Agent Dario Barioni. <laughs> of the FBC Armed Forces. The time is 1948. I request that this recorder be handed over to General Lansdale. If found by the next team, everyone on my team is dead. Killed by the devil himself. We were unable to retrieve the video log. Our mission has failed. Well, Tro, they weren't sitting around waiting for death to come to them. When the FBC arrived, they were waiting for us, even though Terra Grigio was a year ago. Thoughts of revenge kept them alive. Hmm. So they've been in here biding their time. So Lansdale sent a team in to try and retrieve the sensitive data. How interesting. It obviously didn't go very well. So we got a giant blob monster over there. Come on, Chris. You look ridiculous, by the way. I bet that thing stinks. Let's just creep past it. more shotgun shells more shotgun shells shotgun ammo case which is very nice we must actually have quite a healthy limit on some of our shotgun uh, yeah 200 shotgun shells wow we've got 95 of them as well which is pretty good only got 23 rifle shots though admittedly our rifle is very powerful but yeah, that's not a lot. Okay. Now, I think there's a handprint oh in God. here somewhere. Pretty sure there's a handprint here somewhere. The way the door creepily reveals itself. It's kind of strange. Machine gun ammo. Machine gun, I'm not convinced, is going to be a good decision. We've got plenty of herbs. There was a handprint here. Ah, there it is. Yeah, must have already got that. I would like to get all the handprints on Steam, but I don't know what ones I've got without going back through the game with a checklist. Probably not likely to happen <coughs> anytime soon, anyway. So, this is how long they've been down here for, I guess. Pretty sure you could search that. Yeah. They were counting the days after the wreck. How did they manage to survive an entire year in here? I guess des desperate times. And these are all the founders. This was This one was of strong will. He almost fought off his mutation. Oof. Now obviously this game is set before Resident Evil 5, so I guess Chris didn't have quite 
his appetite for bold as yet. Not only loyal to Veltro, but also a loyal friend. R.I.P. I like the way they're making these people out to be nice chaps, but his love for his wife was matched only by his love for Veltro. Yeah, literally, they wanted to destroy the world, so, you know, let's not feel too bad for them. And there's some Dante. A passage has been underlined. How the rain maketh them like unto dogs. One side they make a shelter for the other. Who've turned themselves the wretched reprobates. Dante... is that just... oh yeah, Dante's Inferno, basically. Those who offer their lives to the doctrine forever walk the path with the great Jack Norman. Yeah, great. Cool. So if you die, you'll be dead with the boss. Not much comfort, really, is it? He really likes the sound of his own voice. All of our interactions are right in here. We shall become guardians of the truth for as many years as it may take. Well, Jack Norman was the head of Veltro. Hi. He has the video we can use to nail Lansdale. He does. But, oh, 80 handgun bullets. Well, that's quite nice. What else have we got? A hand grenade. That's not that useful. Oh, well, maybe it is. Who knows? Green herb. Well, we maxed out on herbs. Right, let's go build our deck. We've got damage plus 5. Charge shot 2. Long magazine 4. Critical 1. Charge shot two. Damage seven. Very nice. Um, well, apparently we left the Hydra. Uh, now, damage seven, firing rate plus 60, charge shot. I'm not convinced that charge shot is... We're, we're never really going to get an opportunity to use that. So, I guess, long magazine. Get as many rounds in that thing as we possibly can have. Uh, we're going to take the Magnum. What's the most powerful Magnum? That's 1,200. Uh, that's 1,500. And it's got an extra slot. We've got 53 shots for it, which isn't too shabby. So, let's give it a plus 7 damage, which makes it rather monstrous. Uh, I guess we could up the fire rate, I suppose. Critical, maybe. Infighter could also be quite nice. 
charge shot. Reloader is not going to be a huge thing with this gun. Um, charge shot four. Maybe the trouble is I still don't. Should we put charge shot on there? Maybe infighter. The closer you get, the more damage you do. That makes more sense to me. And maybe instead of firing rate, we might put long magazine on it. Yeah. So we can really just blast away at the thing. Uh, we don't have a lot of machine gun ammo. We do have a lot of shotgun ammo, though. So. Do we not have... We do have a plus 5 damage for that. And scatter minus 12 is nice. But maybe... Hmm. No, I think we might leave it at that. Oh, long magazine, though. No, that only gives us uh, extra three shells. Not a huge... Now, critical. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Yeah, sure. So, we're going to go with the Magnum. We've got 53 Magnum rounds, which ain't too shabby. We've got 23 rifle rounds. And that should be the Hydra. Thank you. Uh... I guess really we could take all these off. Can we put a, no, we can't. Cause it is a damage plus five. That's a damage seven and that's a damage seven. Okay. Maybe critical on this might be a good idea. Can we put a critical? Can only put a critical one on there, sadly, because that's all we have. But then would you prefer a 30% almost guaranteed extra damage? Or... Mm. Yeah, I think we'll leave it as that. Right, well... Let's go. This is going to be brutal. And yeah, I don't think grenades are really going to do anything at all. But hey, we'll see what happens. Let's go. Here we go. Yeah, and he's just there talking bollocks to himself. Machine gun ammo, that's fine. More shotgun shells is always fine. He's literally, just for a year, been standing down here talking utter bollocks to himself. Right, that's actually brought our rifle ammo up to a little bit more healthier situation. Right, I'm expecting to be stuck on this for a long time. There is health and ammo and bits and pieces scattered all around here. More shotgun shells. Very nice. There's also a handprint in here as well. I guess I've already got that. Yeah, alright dude, settle down. More herbs. Morgan, this is what you see. More rifle ammo. Is it not? Morgan's not here, dude. Indeed, this little machine contains the truth. Oh, the truth needed to bring down your entire charade. What's up, mate? Can't get the words out. Ah, <sighs> right, hurry up, mate, and let's get this torture test moving. Right, what should we start with? I'm thinking 
Oh, we got plenty of ammo. Uh, maybe we can do this guy with the Magnum, actually. Maybe we can. This is it. We got the evidence. I don't think we're getting out of here anytime soon, Chris. And you look absolutely fabulous. Did I say fabulous? You look like a moron. <laughs> what are you doing, Chris? Do we really have to sit through all of this? Could you not just, like, mutate, please? I suppose we can have a nice look around. They really drag this out, don't they? Right, any more goodies? Oh, I think we're supposed to try and leave. My bad. Stop! Morgan, behold the terror which you have unleashed. Morgan's not here, man. Did he bite that thing? Because it's still in one piece in his hand. Okay, here we go. Oh.